He looks at Santar and I've got a new little cup battle! Yay! Sorry if you're new to the channel, I get a little excited about my little cup battle, so yeah. Anyway, my opponent today is Bean1706, that's with an O, not a zero. I highly urge you to go check out his channel. It's, uh, he has excellent battles, is a pretty good narrator, and you know, just check him out. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with my Hermione, my Dwebble, as my opponent does the same. Uh, leads off leading off the Dwebble, it's not Hermione, obviously. I'm gonna go ahead and call Hermione back, and I'm gonna go ahead and send out Neela, predicting my opponent to go ahead and try to set up Stealth Rocks. And indeed, I get that prediction most excellently. The Magic Bounce bounces it back, so now my opponent has Stealth Rocks on his side, but not on mine. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the Reflect, predicting a Rock-type move, but I'm thinking, I can take it. I can totally, totally take that. My opponent is gonna go ahead and go for the Rock Blast, so I'm like, yeah, I can totally take that. Look at how little damage it does. So that's two hits, three hits, I'm like, okay, fine, that kind of sucks. Four hits, I'm like, oh, are you serious? Five hits? Are you serious? So yeah, Neela gets knocked out well before she really should have. Five hits on a Rock Blast. Whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and send out Angler at this point. That's my Chin Chow. Uh, my uh, Chin Chow, who has swept more times than not, and it's not even an Agility Chow or anything. Anyway, my opponent decides to take this opportunity to set up Stealth Rocks as I go ahead and go for the Skull. That gets him down to his Sturdy. And so that's great for me, because now, even if I, uh, so yeah, well, my opponent's going to get back about 50% uh, of its health with Oran Berry, and I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Scald again. I should have predicted that, considering I knew my opponent had Shellos on his team, but yeah. So, uh, Scald is not going to, is actually going to be absorbed by, uh, the Banks of Storm Drain, and that's going to raise my opponent's special, def special attack, excuse me. Gonna go ahead and go for the Ice Beam. This is a really, really poor play. I completely forgot that Shellos is not part ground like its evolution. But uh, Shellos is gonna go ahead and go for the Yawn, which is not great, uh, and is going to protect me to go for Thunderbolt this next turn, and is going to send uh, Dwebble back out. I am gonna go ahead and go for the Thunderbolt. At that range of HP, at least it gets a kill, so that's great. So, no more Dwebble, and I know my Chin Chow is going to fall asleep, but you know, it's not the end of the world. I figure I can take any hit from any of these guys, especially considering I'm behind a Reflect. So yeah. Uh, out comes Houndour, which I was not expecting. Uh, my opponent does go ahead and go for the sub, so, you know, it'll take two hits to KO this thing instead of one. But, you know, a Fire-type against him? I'm thinking, oh, maybe he carries a Grass-type move? No, doesn't carry a Grass-type move, goes for the Crunch does 6 HP's worth of damage, is doing a lot of damage to him too thanks to that life orb recoil. And so I'm like, I'll just stay in until I wake up, it's all good, it's all good. Uh, another crunch is going to hit me fairly hard, uh, and actually not that hard, I'm still not down to below 50% HP, so I'm like, I'm going to stay in forever. I'm actually getting a little bit cranky that I haven't woken up from sleep at this point, I'm like, are you serious game? It wasn't bad enough that I got 5, turn uh, five rounds of Rock Blast. I think this is the turn that I finally wake up. Yes, it is. So now I get to go for a Scald. I'm going to break his sub, quite obviously. You know, it is super effective. Uh, and that is going... But, you know, I'm down to 2 HP. He is faster than me. Angler is dead. Even if I were to switch out at this point, I would die thanks to Stealth Rocks. So yeah, Crunch is going to take me out and bye-bye Angler. So usually my Angler gets a sweep. Not so much today. I'm going to go ahead and send Hermione back out. Um... Yeah, gonna take a little bit of Stealth Rocks damage. Gonna go ahead and go for the Hidden Power. And you're thinking, why am I running Hidden Power on my Dwebble? The reason is, it's not Dwebble. It's my Zorua disguised as Dwebble, and it's got an Expert Belt, so that's expertly great. I take out his Pokemon, and now out comes Shellos. I don't think he's realized that I'm not Hermione yet. I think he's just thinking I'm running a weird set. And I go ahead and go for the Night Days. At this point, he obviously realizes, yeah, this is not, um, you know, this is not my, uh, Dwebble. He's gonna go ahead and go for the skull here. It's going to go ahead and get rid of my illusion, but I'm like, I can, that's okay, I'm, it's all good. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Night Days, and that is gonna take out his Shellos. Uh, thanks to a crit, I'm not sure that that crit mattered. I'll probably run the calcs and put them up at some point. But yeah, so my Zoro is doing excellently well. My opponent sends out, um, his Joltik. I love Joltik. I really should consider running it on a team at some point. Anyway, yeah, was not expecting him to outspeed, but it's probably Scarf at this point. Uh, so yeah, Chaos is dead. Bye bye, Chaos. Yeah, useless crit. I mean, come on. Super effective Bug Buzz. And Zoro is frail like anything. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and test my theory that he's scarfed by sending out Sean, my ghastly, um, named for Dark Smoke Puncher of uh, Dr. McNinja. If you know what Dr. McNinja is, maybe some of this will make sense. Anyway, my opponent goes ahead and sends out Bronzor, and I'm going to go ahead and go for the sub. So that's excellent. He can't, I don't know, use some kind of status move against me, but I am going to go ahead and go for the Shadow Ball here to see what he's going to do. It's going to hit, and it's going to be a solid 2 at KO, take a little bit of damage from um, Life Orb, but this is really great because uh, the great thing about Little Cup is that if you get your Pokemon to 19 HP, Life Orb is awesome because it only takes 1 HP worth of damage, and therefore I can get off 19 hits with this guy, you know, assuming no other damage. Anyway, Shadow Ball takes him out, and that's great. I'm only, I still have 11 HP left. My opponent sends out... Uh, Nidoran, and so I'm like, well, okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna leave because I've got my sub up. Anyway, he goes for the Sucker Punch and it misses, and I'm like, wait, what just happened there? And then I remembered, okay, yeah, Nidoran gets Hustle, and the cost of your um, attacks getting boosted is that they only, uh, they lose accuracy. So yeah, uh, Sucker Punch on my side now takes out his Nidoran, and that's completely excellent. I've got a Ghastly Sweep going. I'm pretty sure this is my opponent's last Pokemon. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Okay, so my opponent goes first, indicating that's almost certainly a Scarf. Uh, in fact, I know it's Scarf. There's no question about it. Anyway, Thunderbolt is going to break my sub, but that's A-OK. -okay. I'm going to go ahead and KO with Sludge Bomb, and that is going to be the end of the match. So, Bean1706, if you're watching, that was an excellent battle. A lot closer than a lot of my Little Cup uh, matches, to be honest. Uh... Again, go check out his channel, go check out my channel, the other battles on my channel, and sub if you want. Oh, I love Little Cup so much! So long, folks.